This is Ian with TVLesson.com, and this tutorial will show you how to use smooth cam and shake. Your first step will be to locate the file on your computer that you want to use. Then once you have your clip, you want to go down to the bottom of the screen and hit the home button. And in doing so, you're going to make sure that you're using all the frames in the clip you just selected. Before you do anything else, if you're shooting in interlaced frames, you're going to want to go down to the other tab and grab a deinterlace node. And then under the transform tab, you can grab your smooth cam node. Under smooth cam settings, I usually just set analysis quality as normal and clip mode at N. Then depending on how shaky the footage is, under the smooth tab you're going to want to experiment with different numbers. For this particular clip, I'm just going to set it at 1.5 and 2.5. Once you have your settings ready, then you hit analyze, and this might take a couple minutes. Once it's done analyzing, you're going to want to scrub through on the timeline to see where the clip shifts the most. And once you find your problem area, you can go down to the Transform tab and grab a Scale node. And with that node selected, then you can go to the top corner of your clip and drag it up. Once you're done, you can render out a flipbook to see if you need to work on any areas. When you have everything the way you want it, you can go down to the Image tab, and you're going to want to grab a File Out node. Then name your file and click OK. And under the file out node settings, you're going to want to make sure your file is set at the right format. And also making sure your codec matches up with your workflow. To render out your final project, all you have to do is click your file out node and right click, and under render, hit render file out node. 